This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2019 uh, Oaks uh, show. I don't even remember what show it is. I've gotten so tongue-tied. It's terrible. Yeah. At the, it's a car, custom car show at the... Uh, Indoor Expo, Nationals. Indoor National at the uh, Expo. Thank Expo. you. At the York, uh, at the uh, Oaks Expo. I don't care. Swisher puts on great, uh, and, and Andy put on great shows. This is one you can't miss because it's so unusual. Bill, we know him from his uh, Corvette the Grand Sport. We see him around quite a bit. But he brought a little treat for us. And you were saying this is a 19... 1952 Miller. Miller made 47 race cars and five chassis. Mm -hmm. This is one of the chassis converted in 1962 to have a Lotus 11 body and an aluminum center section and Lotus 11 tail. Mm -hmm. And it was raced at Riverside and Pomona and a couple of West Coast tracks by a man named Gil Mudson. And uh, it was never really successful. It had a radiator problem, which I fixed. Uh huh. We'll give a plug to GT Radiator and Ambler. But it's a Crosley engine, right. re redone by a man named Brodzovich, who was the guy back then. Mm -hmm. It's probably about 60, 65 maybe horsepower at the most. Yeah. And it's got a four speed, it's got drilled discs all around off the crossing and across the rear right and it's all set up for vintage racing but I can't get a license so uh, I'll just show it off now you're saying it's got the four speed it's got the uh, Crosley engine um, I noticed that you had the Weber's on there and all that weather modifications to the Crosley well it has a custom exhaust with a Weber and a custom intake mm -hmm. with, with, with a Weber carburetor and then um, everything else is just drilled and lightened and tweaked by these two guys. One of them was an engineer when they built the car. Uh-huh. But it didn't get run very much because the driver got married and the wife was afraid of racing. So it passed around uh -huh. to nine different owners. Wow. It was always called, entered as the Bogus Lotus. The Bogus Lotus. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, check this out. Now that's a fiberglass nose you were saying? Fiberglass nose and tail fitted fitted to the car because it was it's narrower than a regular Lotus 11. Uh-huh. And then the center section is all aluminum hand fabricated. Wow. And the underneath and the pan, full pan. And it's, it's the Crosby rear and there's a little fuel cell, like a five-gallon fuel cell in the back. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's the way they ran it. This is absolutely, what a and remarkable find. Now, Miller, of course, built a lot of uh, other cars. Well, there's two Millers. This one was from... Uh, Northwest United States, Wisconsin, up in there. Oh, okay. And he built he built the little sports cars at the beginning of the SCCA H modified class. Ah. And he built the cars to run in that class. Gotcha. And there's a Miller who built Indy cars. Yes. Okay. So no relation. No relation that I could find. Okay. So far, we'll see. No. <laughs> Not from Wisconsin. This is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, did you buy it in this condition? I cleaned it up. I didn't. It's not restored. Okay. I cleaned it up and went through the fuel system. I fabricated a better seat so uh -huh. a taller person can get in there. Yeah. You, can get, you can't get much of a shot of the pellets, but they're very unusual. All the way down over there to the right. It makes it difficult to drive. I like that vintage steering wheel, even. It's out of a, a boat. Out of a boat. Out of a 50s speedboat. Oh, gosh. Look, what a... Beautiful, beautiful job. Now the tail end is also aluminum? That's all fiberglass. All glass? Yeah. Okay. And then the center tub is what's aluminum, including the doors. I'm going to try to get in there for the pedals. Look at it, how that is drilled. Everything available is drilled. Wow. I like the way how that uh, gas pedal is arranged. You've got the uh, clutch master cylinder, right? Uh, uh, this is pretty small guy. That's typical of a Lotus. Lotus gets rather tight in indeed. The bogus Lotus. I like this HM. Side exhaust. What a beautiful... Now, one thing which I've got to uh, bring up is that There's New Hope... Paint. This is the paint which is cleaned up, original paint which is cleaned up. Whoever the last guy that owned it was. 
just beautiful. Now I've got to show you the wheels, uh, share the uh, wheels. If you want to open the bonnet for a moment, let's get those wheels. Show you how much these people work to lighten up the uh, car. Like Bill was saying, how long did it take them to drill those wheels? Look at that. Just beautiful. Just it's beautiful. all about saving weight. Oh, that's it. Now, you were saying that this is less than 800 pounds wet. 771 pounds. Wow. Fuel. But it's got that front end. It's a Fiat Topolino. Oh, really? Front end. That was popular at the time for these classes. Uh-huh. I see the recirculating ball. The overhead, uh, but still full independent with the lower A-arm located on top by the uh, transverse leaf spring. I wonder if Dantoff got that for his rear end. Yeah. We're checking out the Crosley underneath the hood of this modified Lotus, uh, Bill's modified Lotus. This is done just so nicely. It's got the modern starter and electrics on it. But the Crosley at 60 horsepower is really quite a mill. Uh, that's got the overhead cam, the dual. Uh, Weber, dual throat Weber, and what's that? FAJS Weber. So it's really well equipped underneath the hood, which is pretty remarkable. When you think about it, 60 horsepower is not very much, but the car weighs under 800 pounds wet, which is amazing. That is the uh, beauty of a Lotus as well as this particular build, which is pure custom. Notice all the belly pans, too. Beautifully done very light uh, tubing on through. Let's keep checking this girl out here. That is amazing. Who put on the modern electrics? Uh, it came with that. The guy, somebody along the line put that in. Very good. Very good. That's a nice modification. I'm sorry, you were saying about the paint? What? You were saying about the paint earlier? That's the original paint from the last owner. Okay. So been several colors. If you go to the H Modified website, right. there's a picture from a race in, this, in the 70s, and this car's there, but it's all primer. Ah. Same car. It's a different owner at the time. Well, as you say, it's one of one. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool, Bill. Thank Thanks you. for showing us. Appreciate that. Thanks for coming to the show. Oh, of course. I wouldn't miss one of... Uh, Boy, what, I'll tell you, I love the way you span from the road-going hot rods to the little bogus Lotus to the Grand Sport. But that, that really captures this show, which is really pretty cool. Bill, I want to thank you again. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at 2019 Indoor Nationals at Oak, Pennsylvania for more cool events like this. Make sure you check NortheastWheelsEvents.com. SoutheastWheelsEvents.com and UKWheelsEvents.com. While you're there, post and share your events. I'll see you at the shows.